So hello again and welcome to um, this tip uh, about how to create a pin link between two parts. So this is a typical uh, mechanical assembly where you have two parts which are uh, pivoted together by a pin uh, connection and uh, as you know that uh, if you model such type of connection uh, with solid elements it's going to of course increase your analysis time uh, without um, adding much detail to your results. So the best option is to create a representation of such type of joint. Uh, the good news is that Autodesk Simulation Mechanical has a tool which is called Joint, which is right here, uh, which can help um, create a typical type of joint condition between two parts. So this is what we are going to do to define a pin connection between these two parts. So uh, we have already the parts, um, uh, the assembly meshed. We have the material property defined. So uh, we can proceed to define our pin connection between these two parts. Uh, the easiest way to select all the surfaces which are concerned by the pin connection which are basically these surfaces here and here and all the same surf two surfaces on the other side would be to put your assembly in um, a projection uh, view uh, go to circle select and um, surface select options and then simply drag to uh, select the surfaces uh, which are basically defining uh, the surfaces that will be in contact with the pin and then we can go to join uh, make sure that you have cached all the surfaces so we have uh, two surfaces per part two parts so total of four surfaces on the joint here we can define what type of um, joint you want you have um, choice between pin joint and universal joint so pin joint will typically um, allow the um, pin sort of behavior that is only one rotation will be allowed between these two parts whereas universal joint will allow the three rotations um, around the joint center without allowing any displacement so for our case we'll uh, take pin joint uh, we have the option between automatic detection of axis and center point depending upon the points or, or the surfaces that you have selected or the user can manually define the axis or center point. So we'll stick to the first option automatic detection of axis and center point for this one. Click OK and uh, as you see that uh, Autodesk Simulation Mechanical has automatic, uh, automatically created a network of uh, lines uh, uh, coming from each of the nodes of on the surface to the central point and then we have um, uh, a line or truss element that runs from one end to the other end. So truss element has been already defined uh, by the software and we just had to define the element definition so let's go to element definition and uh, make sure that we enter a very big section cross section of uh, the beam so that uh, it is perfectly stiff as compared to the rest of uh, the assembly. Uh, and that's it you have your pin joint modeled we can quickly run an analysis here and um, sell, uh, define a support here uh, define um, force um, to basically see the rotational effect of uh, this uh, assembly uh, so let's say uh, we are going to apply a 45 degree on along xz axis a uh, force of 1000 newton on the top surface okay uh, something like this and make sure that you don't have any contact defined because we want the two parts to be linked together by the pin joint only uh, so for this case we should uh, say that we don't need any contact otherwise auto stimulation mechanical will link the mesh between the two parts wherever they the, the mesh uh, the surfaces are coincident so that's it for the setup we can go and launch the analysis so here we have the results of our uh, analysis and uh, we can uh, go and see how f uh, the part is behaving um, about especially this joint so here we can see that the part is freely rotating um, around the joint which is what uh, we would expect with a pin joint so this concludes our tip video. Thank you for watching.